And join us right now. We have never had a chance to talk to this young man. He, of course, transferred from Northridge. He has been part of this Aztecs run this year. Terrell Gomez is joining us right now. Terrell, good morning. How you doing in Indianapolis today? Good morning. I'm doing well. It is great to talk to you, Terrell. Hey, you know, I've been anxious because your name comes up a lot in our show about adjusting to a new school, this opportunity you have to be part of this Aztec team, and the role you played at Northridge as opposed to the role you're playing right now with the Aztecs. But how much of a challenge early on was it for you, Terrell, to just sort of, you know, get yourself in a comfortable situation with a new team? Uh, it was different, uh, definitely because, uh, you know, at my last school, the place only ran for two people. So I had to get used to playing with other good players, which I felt like was important, especially for the next level after here. And as well as uh, my last school was a straight offensive team. We tried to outscore people. And this school is a defensive team uh, where they wanted to shut people down. So um, it was a, it, uh, it's a bit of an adjustment, but um, I feel like I've gotten more aggressive uh, throughout the end of the season. Um, so... Uh, I think a lot of teams know that I'm a, I'm a whole lot better than my stats, so I could take over the game at 80 seconds. And, and we've seen that at times this year, Terrell. Look, your, your three-point percentage, well above 40%. We know you can drop those shots. Do you get the coaches to – I mean, obviously you got to play both ends of the court. As you mentioned, defense is such a key to the success of the Aztecs. But do the coaches almost ask you, hey, Terrell, take more shots? Yeah, uh, they had to, uh, you know, ask me to do that uh, sometimes because I feel like our teams are always, you know, with the good players on the team. Um, sometimes like we can get, good sh- uh, you know, sometimes better shots, but they feel like me taking a shot is better than pretty much uh, any type of shot we can get. So if you give me that confidence, it's helpful, um, you know, but uh, they definitely want me to be more aggressive. Terrell Gomez, Aztecs getting ready for the – uh, opener of the uh, the NCAA tournament. Terrell, you are among uh, five seniors, and we don't get to see that this often when a team is heading into uh, the the big dance. What are the conversations that you guys are having? I know you guys are a team. You talk as a team. You play as a team. But where are you guys? What's the conversation with you guys and the other four right now as you prepare for, for moving forward? Uh, we'd be talking amongst ourselves about what we want for each other. Um, you know, we don't um, just speak about it around coach. We all talk about this ourselves. So we coach ourselves, and coach always says that uh, player-driven teams are championship teams, um, So, which is very true. So we talk about it amongst ourselves, what we need to get done, what we want to get done, and we also watch them on our own. Well, and we talk about senior leadership on this team, but one in particular, we've known Matt Mitchell since he first came to San Diego State as a freshman. He was named the Conference Player of the Year. What What is your takeaway in this year to be a teammate of Matt Mitchell and what he's all about? Uh, you know, he's about the right things. Uh, he wants to play the right way. Um, he's a really good player. He can score pretty much on three levels, uh, really four, because he can get to the free throw line. I consider getting to the free throw line at fourth level. Uh so, uh, you know, he's about the right things. Uh, you know, he really want to win. So that's that's one thing we have in common. Terrell, I know you came to San Diego State with the hopes of being part of a really good team. You're part of a really good team. 14 straight wins. Conference championship, regular season, conference tournament championship. Those are banners that are going to be up there at Viejas Arena. But now it's time for March Madness. What does this mean to you, and what is your anticipation uh, anticipation as you get ready to play in this NCAA tournament? Uh, it means a lot. Um, and it's just, you know, you know, this is it. That's pretty much what comes to my head when I think of March Madness. You know, my college career could be over any second. So I got to have no regrets, um, no my bads, and just go out there, really just try my best and have fun. Um, don't put too much pressure on it. So um, I'm really excited. With that excitement, you know, you, 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 as a fan, you, you think of the pressures that you guys are going to you go you're going through during this time. Like you said, if you lose, you go home. If you win, you move on. The pressure, the excitement builds. Where is your comfort level right now? As you had, and you, you talked about the coaches telling you to to take more opportunities, shooting the ball. Where's your comfort level? Where do you find your comfort level 
in game. Where can we tell as a fan that Terrell Gomez is going to have a good night? Um, you know, when I'm uh, pin and trading and I'm driving and kicking as well as shooting the ball, uh, when I get paint touches, uh, I'm a really good player. Um, not just selling for jump shots. So when, when I'm getting in the paint, distributing and stuff like that, uh, doing other things besides just shooting, I'm going to have a really good game. Terrell, I, I've got to ask you this question, and we appreciate it. Terrell Gomez is joining us live from Indianapolis. Aztecs getting ready for the first tournament game Friday against Syracuse. To have this kind of season during this pandemic, no fans at the games, you you know, you're, you're just out there playing basketball. Talk about the challenges leading up to Indianapolis, and what is going on in Indianapolis? Are you just basically hanging out in your hotel rooms, and then you go off and practice? What's the scene there, and how difficult has it been for you to just navigate through this season? Well, for me, the biggest challenge is not having the same amount of gym time that we usually have. So in my last school, I used to have a shooting routine pretty much after practicing at night. So now I don't really have that at-night shooting routine. So that was the biggest challenge for me this year. It kind of was kind of was having trouble with my confidence because I was used to just, I'm so wired to, and programmed to shoot like a certain amount of times a day, but we weren't able to get that. Um, and then while I, as we're here in Indianapolis, um, you know, we're just kind of like locked down inside. Uh, nobody could come in. Uh, we're about to go outside for a walk though <laughs> and um, to get like some fresh air. And then, um, you know, we're all just sticking together. Some guys are playing the video games together and, um, that's pretty much it. So, I, I mean, do you get a sense? I mean, there are 68 schools there. Is there any sense of that, or you're just so isolated, it's almost like you're in your own bubble? Well, um, you know, we are seeing other schools. There's a bunch of other schools here. Uh, we kind of run into them at the elevator, but we don't try to hop into the same elevator. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then uh, also uh, we have uh, weights, and it's divided by curtains. So um, you kind of – Get to see how other teams do everything a little different. Right. But um, other than that, uh, we, we don't really hang out with other teams or talk to the other teams uh, besides, a, you know, saying what's up to a friend. But we try not to be in contact too much. Uh, Terrell, with the 23-4 and four record, have, you know, we've heard the saying, enjoy the journey. Have you been able to enjoy – the season so far is I mean obviously the the experience is still going on but what what have been some of the big highlights for you this uh, this past season so far uh well I think the uh, the enjoyment is really soon to come um because it will be fans here but it's I ain't gonna lie it's, it's been a little disappointing that I wasn't really it, it uh, get, I, I really didn't get to experience the show like the crowd so um you know that's one of the greatest things about SDSU um so I think the best is yet to come um, but that's all I can pretty much say about that. But I'm still happy that we're winning and stuff like that. But I do wish I, I, I was able to experience the SDSU fans. But I guess I'll come back for a game. Well, you absolutely come back for a game because you're part of two banners that are going to be hanging in Viejas forever. Terrell, uh, congratulations on a tremendous season. I know the best is yet to come. Good luck on Friday. We really appreciate you giving us uh, some time here from Indianapolis. Good luck to you. Thank you.